Hey guys, what's up? It's Homer Roach. Just five with another review. This time of the Marvel Universe Dark Hawkeye. This figure came out a while ago, but a lot, and we haven't done a Marvel Universe review in a in a while. Yes, not since that Deadpool Taskmaster two pack. I I I might be reviewing my World War Hulk, but I might not because you know. My, mine's leg always falls off. It's just with mine. Other than that, the figure's awesome, but leg always falls off and it can never come back on completely. It really sucks. Um, so yeah, um, this figure's sculpt is awesome. Really awesome here. You got the scale, the armband or whatever, and then you got this um, brace right here. Um, this is just a repaint of the regular Marvel Universe Hawkeye, but everything's really cool. It has, like, um, really dark purple instead of the lighter one. Really dark purples and really dark blue. Um, and the face mold's different because it's bullseye. Um, mine's got some rabies over there. I don't know if you can tell. Mine's got some rabies. Um, that's just with mine. Minor paint flaw. Um, went a little over with the white. Um, he's got an evil grin on his face. It's really cool. Um, the sculpt is exactly the same as the regular one. You know, the scales right here. Everything and all that. Hawkeye costume. And Different hand, I think, than the original Hawkeye. Um, he's holding an arrow. I kept the rubber band in because I heard it's really hard to keep it in his hand, so I kept the rubber band in. Don't think there's a copy review of Mr. Transformer or whatever, but no, it's not. I learned that from his review. I'm keeping the rubber band in his hand. Um, it's very well painted. Like I said, very dark purples and stuff. But look at this arrow right here. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. But hold on. Just place me some more light. Give me a second. Open the blinds. That's what you wanted to know about. It's all of a sudden got so bright. Um Yeah, you can see everything better now. Um You can see the purple on this front of this bow right here it's really nicely painted I didn't expect they'd do something as small as that but awesome and they do like just a normal brown and silver tip and then the purple on the <sighs> purple on the feather thingy the end there that's cool how they added that same with the arrows in the quiver right here, just normal brown and then purple wing tips or whatever you want to call them. It's really nice that they added all that. It's a really awesome figure. Um, going to articulation. Standard Marvel Universe articulation, which is good. Um, he can bend at the elbow, rotate at the upper part of the arm, or rotate at the... Uh, hand 360 and forward and back a little bit um his arm can fully rotate as well as go in and out his head fully rotate as well as go up and down pretty well not sure if it'll stay though well it's not necessarily well but you know better than a lot of reunions um, he has an ab joint, 360, it's kind of hindered by the suit, but it needs to be there, so. And no waist joint, because this figure was released before Marvel Universe are doing ab and waist joints. Um, bend at two points at the knee. Go, legs can go in and out, forward and back. Rotate at the boot here, and pivot forward and back at the foot. Dark Hawkeye comes with this ID card and a picture of um, him in pretty awesome pose. I'm flipping over and there's like a bio, stats and everything. So yeah, there's that. And he also comes with a base, which I plan on probably, I might throw it away and I might not because 
they're pretty generic you know um he comes with this fury files code and a note that I lost so uh yep though so, oh yeah his accessories uh, these are he has his arrow his awesome bow which is very well painted purple um and his quiver of arrows his purple tip like they really get cool they added that detail um so yep that's bear some time you can see he's up to scale with other Marvel Universe figures like the original Hawkeye Ronin and he is much smaller than a Marvel Legends figure like Ghost Rider I was surprised. I was surprised at how awesome this figure was. I was at Target, wanted to buy something. They were out of Marvel Legends. All that was left with Claw, and he was like the worst of the wave, so I didn't really want to pick him up. Um, so I got this guy, and I'm glad I did. You should too. He's an awesome figure. Very well painted. Very well sculpted. An awesome Marvel Universe figure. So... Yep, this has been a review of the Marvel Universe Dark Hawkeye. Peace out, guys.